Apostolic coming. Minister accordingly, Holy Spirit. And may we hear, well done, thou good and faithful servant. This is our prayer in Sunday school. This is our desire in our hearts. Oh God, we wait on you now. In Jesus' name, God's people say, Sister Burton, with a few words, and then we will go into worship on this Ladies' Sunday. God bless you. We'll not be taking up the time this morning, but um, for all of those who came out this morning, just want to tell you that we appreciate seeing your lovely faces and that as we would have looked this morning Hallelujah. at the word of God, our Lord has risen. He's alive. All doubts, I don't know if there's any doubt in anybody's mind, but all doubts about his resurrection, all doubts about our salvation should be settled. So, as the message of the gospel would have captured our hearts and our minds, I pray that we would in turn shed light on the hearts of others. The fields are white, but the laborers are few. We are not just going to pray to the Lord to send harvesters. Yes, we are going to do that. But we are going to do like the prophet has done and say, Lord, here am I. Send me. Lord, you know me who I'm going to. I don't have the boldness, but God give me the boldness. Lord, you know me who I'm going to, but I don't have the know-how. Lord, give me the wisdom. How to share your word and who to share your word with. Lord, I want to make an impact. We are fast approaching the end of time. <laughs> And I think everybody must recognize that by now. And so, I ask us to be vigilant, to be watchful, to be ready and waiting. Take somebody with you. Amen. Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will be glad. We will rejoice this morning because we don't know if there is ever going to be another time we come together. We don't know when God will put in his appearance. We don't know but the word of we, we the, the theme is this morning that that we are to be prepared for rapture ready and waiting i must apologize my name is sister cheryl mays and i will be your moderator this morning so the theme is prepared for the rapture ready and waiting the sub theme is are you in the departure launch? You know, when you go to the airport and you are going away, USA, England, wherever, you have to check yourself in and you sit and you wait till your flight is called. It is the same thing. So you have to be prepared. You have to be waiting. And I know for some of us, we're just longing for go up on the plane. Because we're excited, some of us excited about going on the plane. So it is that we should be prepared, ready, 
longing. The songwriter says, in that bright city, pearly white city, I have a mansion, a harp and a crown. Now I am watching, waiting and longing for that bright city. Are we waiting? Are we sitting in the departure lounge? Waiting, longing to be raptured away. My brothers and sisters, the five, the ten virgin, five were wise and five were foolish. Every day we hear the word. Every day we come to church. Every day we worship. Are we ready? Are we ready? Are we ready? I am watching and I am waiting. I am also longing. Because I'm really tired of this world. I am longing to see my Savior who washed all my sins away. Give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. I am not going to tell you how to worship the God that saved you. The God that sanctified you. The God that you are ready and waiting to go and live. Jerusalem. The new Jerusalem. I want to walk on the streets that are golden. I want to run Ali. where the angels of trod. I want to see that new Jerusalem. And I want to be there. Glory. So prepare your hearts to worship this morning. Like you never worshipped before. Because truly, God may just put in his appearance this morning. And if we are not at the place, we'll be left behind. I don't want to be left behind. And I don't want my brothers and sisters to be left behind. So I pray that we will be ready and waiting. Waiting in the departures launch. Hallelujah. The praise team will bring us into worship and consecration. Hallelujah. 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 Brothers and sisters, I invite you to stand at this moment. Hallelujah. The psalmist declares that we should ascribe unto the Lord the praises that are due unto his name. Hallelujah. 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 And even though we declare that this atmosphere is charged for worship, we declare even now, mighty Father God, that your people are receptive. Hallelujah. We declare in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that any spirit that is operating contrary, hallelujah, to the will of God be now cast out in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We speak with power and authority that has been vested in unto us, hallelujah, over 2,000 and odd years ago, hallelujah, by the blood that was shed on Calvary's cross, hallelujah, whatever distraction, whatever it is, put it aside and not only aside, don't take it up back, but we are going to entertain the spirit of God. We're going to, we're going to worship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jehovah Adonai Shama. We're going to ascribe unto his name the praises that are due unto Hallelujah. him. Hallelujah. 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 Behold the Lamb of God that come to take away the sin of the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This consecration Hallelujah. song says, You are my strength when I am weak. You are the treasure that I seek. You are my all in all. If you know it, just go ahead and sing with us. Seeking you. Seeking you as a precious jewel, Lord, to give up, I'd be a fool. You are my all in all. Let's give him the name that is higher than any other name. Jesus, you are the Lamb of God and worthy. Worthy is your name. He is Jesus, and He is the Lamb 
of God and worthy, worthy is your name. One more time, sing Jesus. Let me hear the congregation say, Jesus, he is the Lamb of God and worthy, worthy. and exalt the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. If it had not been for the Lord on our side, where would we be? So just go ahead now and just entertain the Spirit of God. Go ahead and engage. Hallelujah. The Spirit of God. Go ahead and extol His name. Go ahead and declare with your lips. Hallelujah. Worship Him from your inner being. Worship Him from your inner man. Hallelujah. Have intimacy with God. Spend some time with him even now. Tell him thanks for that incident and accident that he saved you from. Tell him thanks, hallelujah, for all the things that he did for you that were personal. That just you and him know. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God, we exalt you. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We exalt your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. 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 If you want to worship, just go ahead and worship. Don't quench it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be exalted in this place, God. Be glorified, God. Hallelujah. We bow down and worship you, Yahweh. Hallelujah. There is none like you and none unto you. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, for the fact that we have direct access to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Thank you, God, that we have been adopted. Hallelujah. We are no longer bastards. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, for the fact that nothing shall separate us from your love. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The theme says, prepared for the rapture, ready and waiting. Hallelujah. We go into a moment of praise now. And we sing this, this song. But as we sing it, let us really think about heaven and not, not just sing the, the words, but think about heaven and where we want to be with our Savior. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. 
join me in singing that. Let me hear you say, by, by the blood of Jesus, I prevail, I prevail. It's a yes, I, yes, I, yes, I, I prevail. Yes, I, yes, I, yes, I, yes, I, I prevail. I invite the congregation to just declare that. Yes, I, yes, I, yes, I, I prevail. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. No, no, no. It won't work, it won't work. Say, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Shall
unto us. Hallelujah. We prevail. We prevail. It is not I that live, but Christ that lives within me. We prevail. We prevail. Not by might, nor by power, but by the Spirit. Hallelujah. Say the Lord of hosts. We prevail. We prevail. We prevail. We prevail. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We worship the King of Kings. Ah, we prevail. No weapon, 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 no weapon. We prevail, we prevail. Hallelujah. Jesus, thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Prevail. Just push. Push a little harder. Push a little harder. Continue to pray. Continue to press. Like the Apostle Paul. We press. We press. We press. We press. Hallelujah. God bless you. Lord, remember us in your mercy this morning. 
We have seen so much, God. We beg you for mercy. Cleanse us from our sins. Cleanse us from all our iniquity this morning. Wash away the spots and the wrinkles this morning. Heal our wounded bodies. Lord, by your stripe we are healed. We I decree and declare healing in the body this morning. Healing in our mind and our soul this morning. Healing to our hearts this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, God, that you touch every single one of us this morning. I pray you move through the benches this morning. I pray, God, that you heal everyone this morning. Let somebody cry out, I am healed. Let somebody cry out, I am delivered. Let somebody melt down in tears this morning. Hallelujah. Cry out to the true and living God. Heavenly Father, touch a backslider this morning. Touch a backslider this morning to return. Oh God, bring conviction to the heart of a sinner this morning. Almighty God, you were wounded for our transgression. Jesus, I am a sinner this morning. Return a backslider. Jesus loves you. Come on to me and I will give you rest. Lay your yoke upon me. Oh, Heavenly Father, place all your burdens at the altar this morning. Lord Jesus, release your holy angels in this place. Oh, thank you for being here. Your presence is already here. Thank you for your presence, Almighty God. Lord God, remember our past and your mercy. I pray, God, you continue to heal him. Ah, you continue to open his eyes. Ah, you continue to bring him high heights and deeper depths in you. Hallelujah, bless him and cover him under your blood. Hallelujah, bless him in a great and a mighty way. Remember his wife and children. Bless them and cover them under your blood. Be the driver of their vehicle as they go from day to day. Lord, take control of every inner being. Lord God, this morning, surround them with your angels and your glory. Remember our council members, Lord Jesus Christ. Bless them, Lord God. Draw them closer to you. Let, not, let them not sit in high places and go to hell. But examine cells as they go from day to day. Cover them and their families under your blood. Lead them in a great way. Remember our moderator this morning. Breathe upon her in a great way. Tear down every stronghold. Minister through her as she goes through the day. Remember those who sing on the praise and worship team. Heal them, Lord God. Continue to bless them and cover them under your blood. Choose the song for them to sing. In the name of Jesus, connect them with your Lord God. They're more quiet this morning. Breathe upon them in a great way. Touch their hearts and their voice. Draw them closer to you. In the name of Jesus and hide them under your blood. Hallelujah, move in a miraculous way today. Oh, shine your glory upon us today. Pour your glory. Remember everyone in the congregation this morning. Some are sick in body. Heal them. Draw us closer to you. Move to every benches. Hear them every stronghold. Back back every force of darkness. Almighty God, your word declares, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I see the Lord, you are our refuge, our fortress. Our God in whom we put our trust. Surely you shall deliver us from the fallers of the air. And from the noisome pestilence. We destroy every spirit that come against your people this morning. Lead us God. Have your own way God. Melt us down today. Melt us down today. In worshiping. In tears. Have your own way. And thanks for answering prayer. In Jesus name. Amen. the hymn 394 and the announcement sister brown right after the hymn 
Hallelujah. Sister Marcia Brown. So Sister Melissa, Sister Melissa Dutton coming. Then the hymn. Then Sister Marcia Brown. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I prevail. I prevail. should abound more and more, just as you received from us how you ought to walk and to please God. For you know what commandments we gave you through the Lord Jesus. For this is the will of God, your sanctification, that you should abstain from sexual immorality, that each of you should know how to possess his own vessel in sanctification and honor, not in passion of lust, like the Gentiles who do not know God, that no one should take advantage of and defraud his brother in this matter, because the Lord is the avenger of all such, as we also forewarned you and testified. For God did not call us to uncleanness, but in holiness. Therefore, he who rejects this does not reject man, but God, who has also given us his Holy Spirit. But concerning brotherly love, you have no need that I should write to you, for you yourselves are taught by God to love one another. And indeed, you do so toward all the brethren who are in all Macedonia. But we urge you, brethren, that you increase more and more, that you also aspire to lead a quiet life, not to mind your own business and to work with your own hands, as we commanded you, that you may walk properly toward those who are outside and that you may lack nothing. But I do not want you to be ignored but I do not want you to be ignorant, sorry, brethren, concerning those who have fallen asleep, lest you sorrow as others who have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, God will bring with him those who sleep in Jesus. For this we say to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord, will by no means precede those who are asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then, we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And thus we shall always be with the Lord. 18 and last, therefore comfort one another with these words. This is the word of the Lord. We honor it by saying, thanks be to God. Him 394, this world is not my home. I invite the congregation to stand for the singing of the opening hymn.
this morning. In his presence, there is fullness of joy. At his right hand, there is pleasure forevermore. Let us all stand and welcome the Holy Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost.
prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. Church, join with me as we welcome our youth pastor. Oh, he's not here today, but Pastor Reverend Javon Blackman. <laughs> every management position there are supporting staff likewise in the kingdom of god this and this church our bishop and family are supported by our pastors councilmen and women church please join me in giving them and their families a warm welcome The church operates through its many ministries, to our department heads, ministry leaders, and committee members, members, we welcome you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord all the hurt. To our praise team, musicians, choir, sound technicians, our ushers, media, parking attendants, hospitality and maintenance team, we are grateful for your service in the house of God. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> to our first time visitors, do we have any first time visitors? in the house today. Okay, please stand so we can all... Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, yes, now, blessed Holy Ghost, we welcome you. Come with power and his gorgeous Holy Ghost, we welcome you. Come on.
commencing at 7 p.m. on Zoom. Bible study will be held this and every Wednesday on Zoom, beginning at 7 p.m. Fasting service will be held this and every Wednesday at 10, 10 a.m. in the sanctuary. The service will also be on Zoom. All are encouraged to press forward in our daily Bible reading activity and also our daily 5 a.m. prayer meeting on Zoom. There is an urgent need for seeds for national tree planting. The aim is to plant 5,000 trees for 2022. The seeds required are ackee, breadfruit, cashew, cherry, cinnamon, custard apple, guava, jackfruit, june plum, mango, nesberry, otiiti apple, nutmeg, palm, pear, star fruit, sweet stop, and sour stop. We do not require pumpkin, citrus, or papaya. Seeds should be taken to the church office. Bereavement. We, we, regret, we regret to announce the passing of the brother of Sister Tamara Myers, who died on December 4th, 2021. Funeral service will be announced at a later date. Sick Bay. Sister Veronica Hibbert and Sister Laurel Thompson. Please remember to give prayerful support and call the, the bereaved family and the sick. Reminders. Each ministry, ministry is to reminded to win at least one soul per month. Youth Fellowship is held this and every Friday at 7 p.m. on Zoom. Zoom. <laughs> Teen ministry meeting will be held this and every Tuesday at 7 p.m. on Zoom. Prior meetings are held on Saturday mornings at 6.30 a.m. at the church. Um, one more announcement. Please join us at 7 p.m. this Monday evening, which is tomorrow, where our young adults ministry, Yam Kong, presents potency of prayer. Please tell a friend as we continue to pray together. Have a spirit-filled week. God bless you all. Thank you. Fire, fire, fire. Hey. Fire for Worship time in the house.
with fear and trembling. See there, me work out, me fit, me fit. <laughs> so we are to work out our salvation with fear and trembling. I just tell you, I don't tell it as a joke, you know, but now that you know and I remember it, what I'm saying, believers, let us stay on the battlefield and stay straight and look to our God, the author and the finisher of our faith. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So we come with the item now from the creative ministry. Hallelujah. And right after that, we will do worship in giving. I will come back and read the giver's creed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Receive the creative ministry. Hallelujah. Blessed be God. Hallelujah. How is a call a girl and she not answer her phone? She ever call me. Hello? Girl, what go on? Nothing, you know, I'm not a friend. Friend, are you more on call right now? Anyways, I have a very important question for ask you. Girl, may I ask you, why your status? Your status? Yeah, girl, why your status? I not hear you loud. Why your status? Girl, I'm still single. What you talk about? Girl, I not talk that status there. Why your status? Oh, oh. No, no, that you should have said. The COVID test, they come back negative. Wait, my no, girl, no. you're not get it. My friend. <laughs> my friend. Vicky, stop talking to me in a parable. You know you love going like your Jesus cousin girl. Talk to me and talk to me. Well, straight. one more time, I'm going to ask you. Why you yeah, watch your status? On Instagram? Where you Vicky? Not the status on Instagram, now WhatsApp. Mr. Girl, 
I go to church and I tell you, the preacher preach a word and it convict my soul. I have to run, come home and ask all of my friends who have them heavenly status. Girl, why your status? You ready or not? You know, say. Girl, you can't you know, know say. say. You ready or not? Girl, remember, you know, them say I come like a thief in the night. And the last time thief broke in my house, me didn't know, because anyone didn't know, I didn't get broke in. Why Vicky, me not tell you no lie. At the same time, I'm not going to my church in you know, about three weeks. Now, then I talk, preach about the same thing. Jesus, I come, Jesus, I come, Jesus, I come. I'm not talking to one of my friends. Then talk to you. We wouldn't be fooling if we end up at hell. No, talk to you, no, girl. Talk to you with Jesus, love, and talk it plain and straight. No, we have to, we have to do something, girl. But yes, you know, we don't know when, so who you knows if I really tomorrow or you may me feel like what look at time. No, me feel time. Like look at time, dead eh? Oh, yeah. hear that? Right. Girl, we don't have time because here we, we don't know when he might come, but we also don't know when we are go. No, girl, but from my granny was a girl, you know, the matter about oh, Jesus I come. And right now, my grandmother brush hundred. So me feel like we have look at time. Well, me don't want to on the unsafe side. Because if we come now, we want all right. And if we come 10 years from now, we want still all right. So what you say? You know, say true, you talk. You know, say true. But you know, we have some, well, we, right now, we have look at time for true. So I think. It's time for us to get ready and stay ready. Get ready and stay ready. ready we we'll have to stay, stay ready. ready. We don't have no time for miss. Because as I said, it might come, but we don't know when we are go. Who promise we tomorrow? Who promise we even the next minute? Girl, they are taught the truth. Yeah, man. Yeah. So, friend, I'm going to ask you again. Why your status? May I get ready to stay ready. All right. You stay ready. Girl, you ready? You ready? Stay ready. Stay you ready, ready, girl. Stay Anyways, um, the pot I bought up from the stove, so I forgot to call you back. Yeah, girl, and call your other friend, them and ask them to, yeah? Jesus is coming soon. Morning or night, are you? Then he will be there to church. Come on, stand up like you're ready. The song, to God, it might be all us. Heaven, no one heaven, Jesus, oh, Jesus is coming soon, morning or night or noon. Then it will be there too. Trumpet shall sound, and all of the dead shall rise. Righteous meet in the sky. Go and we go. Come on.
trumpet will sound. All of the dead shall rise up. Rise up to meet him. Oh God Almighty, I want to be ready. I want to be ready, Jesus. I am ready, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. No more sickness. No more pain. No more suffering. Lord God, the lion lay down. Ah, oh, at the side of the llama. Oh God Almighty. Many will meet their doom. Church, let us not enjoy. But let us. Trumpet will sound. Dead shall rise, rise just me in the sky. Going where no one dies. Heaven won't burn. Oh, Jesus is coming soon. Morning or night or noon. Hey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in my house, and prove me now, wherewith, says the Lord of hosts, if I will not open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, that there shall be not room enough to receive it. Hallelujah. The ushers and the leaders. Hallelujah. The ushers prepare for the offering. Praise team. Continue with Jesus is coming soon. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Trouble sometimes are here. Feeling men's hearts with fear. Freedom we all hold dear. Now is at stake. Open your heart to Chest in rod, see the way pilgrim strong, Christian away. Oh, my Jesus is coming soon, morning or night or noon. Then you will meet there too. Trumpets will sound, all of the dead shall arise. Righteous meeting the Troubles will soon be o'er, happy forevermore. When we meet on that shore, free from all care. Rising up in the sky, telling this world goodbye. Oh, my we then shall fly, glory to share. My, Je my Jesus is Jesus is coming soon, morning or night or noon. Come on, turn of God. Trumpets will set all of the dead shall rise. Righteous feet in the sky.
Jesus. Close your eyes and shut out your neighbor. Give God a praise in the house today. Oh God, we're looking forward. Oh, I want to see him. To look upon his face. There to sing forever. Of his saving grace. On the streets of glory, let me lift my voice. Tears all pass. Home at last, ever to rejoice. This world is not my home. I'm just a passing through. If heaven is not my home, then Lord, what will I do? The angels beckon me from heaven's open door, and I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Got to go to heaven and rest. Tired of staying down here, tired of troubles and trials. Got to go to heaven and rest. Oh God Almighty, he that hath this hope purifieth. Can I ask everybody who is able to, to stand with me right now? As we seek a moment of unity in prayer. Oh yes, Holy Spirit and agreement in heart hallelujah this is not the place for performances or show it is a place of worship where we come on bending knees penitent hearts Repentant souls to meet with God. Look up, believers, because redemption draweth nigh. nigh. You are standing here today. with Jesus on your mind. Please to make sure that your name is written, smeared over with blood in the Lamb's book of life. For a book was opened and another book was opened. And any name that was not found written there the same was lost. God would have you to be in his presence today to bring a witness to your heart to make right with God. For it is appointed unto man once to die. Everybody in this tabernacle has an appointment. Doesn't matter who you are or where you're from. 
you have that appointment it's a road that we all must take but after death comes the judgment are you ready to meet your maker father we thank you for every gift given from hearts sincere souls touched lives transformed we believe in no other but you you are God and you are God forevermore Lord Old Harbor New Testament Church of God family of faith can testify it could have been worse but because of your blood and your mercy and your favor and your grace we have been spared a few of us have been touched by COVID-19 but all of us have survived the threat and the scare today we honor you with our gifts and we thank you for your might and your power and your glory standing in this tabernacle right now God are your people and those on zoom Facebook and YouTube who have packaged their offering and are waiting for the opportune time to give even they Jehovah are a part of this one experience bless your people bless us not with material things but bless us today with the security of heaven do not give us houses and cars and lands and no Lord but grant unto us the security of walking through the pearly gates God Almighty we seek not for bread on the table or shoes on the feet we seek not for roof over our heads but we seek for our souls to be dipped in blood marked with the Holy Spirit sealed for eternity oh God I pray that we will not be a part of the great tribulation but we will be a part of the catching away of the saints when the first trumpet sound mighty God of Daniel Old Harbor New Testament Church of God community of faith will be gone for we are ready waiting for your soon return father seal our names in the Lamb's book of life let your blood push back evil of every kind and oh Lord every temptation that comes remind us that you have the confidence in us that we will overcome so we overcome them all and remain faithful to the very end for Lord our only desire for being here today is to hear well done well done well done so thank you Jesus for writing our names in the Lamb's book of life thank you Jesus delivering us from our sins thank you Jesus for sending us your messenger so that we will have life and have life more abundantly bless our gifts we pray unto the security of our souls in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost the people of God say all of God's children say all of God's people say Amen there are babies to be dedicated today you're going to ask those parents to come quickly the children to be lifted up before the Lord in the name of the Father, Son, 
and the Holy Ghost. Jesus loves the little children. All the children of the world. Whether they are black or white. All are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Everybody, congregation all. Jesus loves the little children. All the children of the world. children are a heritage of the Lord Christ given unto their parents for care nurture and protection it is right that parents do honor God while the advent of his grace is still upon us to bring back the heritage of the Lord to present them unto him Mary and Jochebed. Mary and Anna, sorry, brought back their infant children to the temple. Offer them unto the Lord. These parents are doing likewise today. Recognizing their responsibility to train up this child in the fear and admonition of the Lord so that when she should have come of age she will most naturally turn to the Lord and away from sin parents we ask you to commit yourselves to this task today for you are answerable to the Lord who gave you his heritage for care, protection, and the training for his glory. They are not ours. They are the Lord's. So do your best to glorify your God who has entrusted you with his heritage so we offer up our parents today before we dedicate this child let me hope that the parents do solemnly put themselves in obligation before God that they will train up the child in the way she should go when she's old she will not depart from it Parents, you will present yourselves to the Lord and to this child as examples. Thirdly, you will shape your home in such a way that God will remain and this child will be raised in a godly home. A nine-year-old was killed in St. James last week nine year old another report was that a mother was on her way when her car was stopped 
Men hit her in the face, dragged her from the car, and her child that is of special needs, maybe autistic, was brought into Granville, I think, and they slashed the child's throat last week something is wrong with Jamaica something is wrong with our people something is wrong with the word so father protect your daughter so mother protect your daughter godmother protect your daughter church let's make a pledge to protect this child when we see them in places they ought not to be don't leave them there Treat them like your own. Human trafficking is taking place on Main Street in Old Harbor. And the police station is right there. There should be no naked women standing anywhere in Old Harbor. And is allowed to do so. Because somebody is collecting from them afterwards and for every man who stopped to engage a prostitute shame on you shame on you you are a disgrace to humanity every man who calls himself a pimp may God have mercy on you and if you don't respond we pray that God will kill you We ask God's mercy first of all. If you reject God's mercy, you should die. You have no right to take away a woman's passport and identification card, cell phone, and money. And then threaten to kill her. And have her to take her clothes off so you can... Put food on your table. You are a disgrace to humanity. When we miss our children, I wonder where they are. When we miss our women, I wonder where they are. Tell them, Reverend Dixon, say so. You are a scourge of the earth. God should put a mark in your forehead. That wherever you go, you become a vagabond in the land. You disgrace to the human race. We pray in all our that none of ours will ever be lost to human trafficking. One could have been a few years ago, we prayed. She was recovered. I wonder if that child is serving God today. This ought to be a solemn moment for anyone who lays a finger on this one is going to answer to God. Point your hands toward the parents, please. Father, in the name of your son, Jesus, these parents have presented themselves in your presence in honor of your blessings upon their lives. The ability to reproduce the power of procreation granted to them. Now, Lord, they stand in your presence for consecration and dedication. But most importantly, to surrender their lives to you as Lord and as Savior. 
God Almighty, I pray that sins will be confronted. They will be reminded today that the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. O oh God, may we not come out of a ritual. But may we come out of recognizing our responsibility. In raising your heritage for your glory. So consecrate these parents to the same. God Almighty sanctify them. Pull them apart. For the purpose of raising your offspring to your glory. But how can they effectively do that. If they themselves are none of yours. So right now God let your Holy Spirit. Go to work. God Almighty let there be a conversation in their hearts. A confession from their lips. So that conversion will take place even now. For as many as receive you to them gave ye power. To become the sons and daughters of God. Save them now God. For your coming is nigh. Eternity waits. Save them now Jehovah. That they will not be a part of the final judgment. In the burning lake of fire. But they will hear well done. Good and faithful servant enter thou. Into paradise. Oh let your blood be upon them now Jehovah. In the name of the father and of the son. And of the Holy Spirit, the household of faith say, all of God's children say, let the people of God say. I'm going to ask the Father to step forward. So good to see a father doing this again. What's her name? First name? Is that boy? Oh, your name is Judah. We don't want to your name today. We want love for it. Monique. Morris. Praise God. He is Junior Morris. So I was wondering if I was seeing right. Then he said, oh, no, no. Monique. Father, we raise up Monique to you today in dedication. Cover her. Cover her 360 degrees in every direction. Father, let there be no space, no gap, no loophole, no window or door of opportunity. Father, we seal every entry point now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Monique Morris, we give her back to you today, God, because she's yours. I pray that your divine protection will be on her every day. Right now, God, we ask for her guardian angel. We ask for ministering angels. We ask that the presence of Jehovah will attend to Monique Morris. And oh God, as we offer up to you, we pray that you will bless her beyond the imagination. As your servant and the minister of the gospel, I pronounce her today blessed and dedicated in the name of the Father and of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit, the people of God say, everybody say, God bless you, Sir Junior. God bless you, Mother. Put your hands together for them. <laughs> Father, we take time out today to raise up those who are sick and afflicted. You know their names. You know where they are right now. God Almighty, we pray that their names will be emboldened in the Lamb's book of life. 
Let there be no fear of death or dying. Let there be no desire to extend life or length of days. But cause your children to say, let thy will be done. Glorify yourself in us. And cause us to glorify you. Lord God, secure those souls for glory. And if their souls be secured, you will minister to them accordingly. For you're a God that cannot lie. Oh Lord, we raise up children across Jamaica today. And we pray that you will deliver every one of them that has been missing. Take them home alive, oh God. And allow parents to stand before you. And make a pledge to cover all. Father, Jamaica is too small for our children to be killed, battered, and abused. Father, we put an end to it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And yes, Lord, silence those who are saying now. We are wasting our prayers because it will go on well. You will bring every man, woman, or relative into judgment. Who will seek to abuse one of these children today. God Almighty, you said, suffer the little children to come unto me. And forbid them not, for of such is the kingdom of Almighty God. Call out their names, Yahweh Yeshua. And allow them to feel your divine presence. Like the prodigal boy, let them arise out of the slum that they may be existing. Bring them home to your tabernacle. Where they will find the love of God being greater far. Oh, extended and still rich and powerful. Oh, God, cover every child. We pray against every mental disorder. We pray against every attack upon their minds. And our children who are under attack but nobody knows. We pray that you will visit them right now. And allow them to know the great physician now is here. Sympathizing Jesus. Oh God, we break low self-esteem. We destroy depression. God Almighty, we come against fear. In the name of Jesus, we rebuke that monster that has caused your children to even doubt or wonder. Can't even dream anymore. We come against that monster that appears at night and leaves at noonday. We come against that monster with hand outstretched with money in his palm. We come against that monster that is seeking to destroy the minds of us. Deliver our children today, God, from every house of hurt, every room of abuse, every corner of condemnation. Ah, Lord God Almighty, dry their tears today. Wrap your loving arms around them. Bring them comfort and peace. Hope. And the joy. Yes, oh God let deliverance. Come their way. Yes, and grant them a new lease in life. In the name of the father and of the son. And of the Holy Ghost the people of God say. The people of God say. Oh God almighty whatever you see in your spirit right now church. Just raise your hand and say Lord we stand against it. I know that some things are coming up in your spirit right now. Just raise that right hand and say, Lord, we push backward every evil. 
that would come upon our children. Oh, this church is a weak church. Come on, people of God, raise that right hand for a child. Raise that right hand for one picnic. One picnic life depend upon it. And you know which picnic you are thinking about. Raise that right hand and say, Lord, I push backward every evil that would come against your heritage. Come on, church of God, say, Lord, it cannot come to pass. It must fall and die in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody declared, Lord, I push backward every force of evil, every force of darkness. I push backward principality, rulers of the darkness of this world. We don't want to sacrifice with our picnic in the name of Jesus. None of them neck now cut and put on the altar. None of them now dress up in the white and kill by night like goat. In the name of Almighty God, we push backward every evil plan and plot. In the name of Jesus, we break the family curse that sacrifice our children. We destroy it in the name. Take you out for Satan altar. In the name of God Almighty. Oh God save the children. The children. The children. The children. The children. The children. Somebody raise a right hand for a picnic. Raise a raise stretch it out, man. Make Satan fret. Somebody raise a hand for a picnic. In a Jamaica, Canada, Caribbean, wherever. Raise a right hand. And make Holy Ghost take over. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. If a North Korea or China, raise a right hand for a child. Loose Jehovah and deliver. David can't kill you. Back up Saul. You shall fall on your own sword and die. Leave God's anointed alone. Somebody raise a right hand, a man. Who are the enemy of the for like a bit in the church of God? You don't even know what you're doing right now. You don't even have a clue. But that right hand, that right hand, that right hand, that right hand is marching up hell and the plants thereof. Raise that right hand with authority, church. For another child is being protected and delivered in the name of Jesus. Darkness shall be no more. God bless you. Sir Junior. God bless you. You can pick up the baby dedication form Monday to Friday. 10 through 2. God bless you. Oh God, if I was if I was in the right church today. Our children will not be hindered, will not be destroyed. Our children will not be sacrificed. I see an altar, you know. Hey. Yeah. Somebody say, not my child, not my child. Somebody say, not my child, not my child, not my child. Am I in the right church? Somebody say, not my child, not my child, not my child. Somebody say, not my child, not my child, not my child. Not my child, no altar, no satanic altar. No devil from hell. Servant of hell. 
touch this one, you shall die. If you touch this one, God shall kneel you against a tree. God shall sink you deeper than the depths of the water. Somebody say, not my child. I say, not my Not my child. <laughs> not this one. Not this one, devil. Psalm 40. Push backward the evil. I see a satanic altar church already erected. Stone by stone, we pull it down. Not this child, not this child, not this child. This is not a sacrifice, this is a heritage. Heritage, this and a sacrifice, this. Heritage in the name of Jesus. Abraham, take off Isaac. Take off Isaac. Of that altar. God not kill the picnic. God will never have that child to be crucified or to be sacrificed. Not this child. There are some generational agreements that involves our children. We break it. We break it. Grand Papa. I saw me feel my spirit to them. Man. Make some agreement. Wanna write before God. And a Fimi Pitney. Grandpa. Make agreement with. Long before me pick the barn. Well, Grandpa, I'm sorry for you. Your white bone in the grave shall turn. Because this shall pick me and I'll go upon no altar. No sacrifice now. Take this one. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, for me, pick me. A heritage. Somebody say heritage. This is not a sacrifice. This is the heritage of God. generational curse we lose them now at the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth crucified buried rose again from the dead seated at the right hand of the father as the intercessor we break every curse, generational curse, from Abraham to Isaac, from Isaac to Jacob. We break those curse from Jacob to Joseph. We break every generational curse. We replace them with generational blessings. Oh, let those names be written in the Lamb's book of life. For the greatest blessing of all is to see our children walking through the pearly gates of glory. Oh, write their names in the Lamb's book of life, Jehovah, and smear them over with your blood. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, the people of God, shout something. Shout something over your children. Oh, Lama, you can do better, man. Shout something over your children. Somebody say heritage. Somebody say heritage. Oh God, I wish if I could hear the church. I want to hear the right sound. Somebody say heritage. No sacrifice. Lady Squire. Esther Quar. Oh, it's not a choir, Mr. Prime Minister. It's only an answer. 
a portion of the ladies ministries will be ministering right now coming back to you with the word somebody say heritage I don't know who you're thinking about but that's all right not a sacrifice ladies ministries Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Oh God, we praise the name of Jesus.
of the Lord. Praise the musicians, ushers all, engineers, our technical staff, parkers even, everybody who is present here today representing Jamaica. May God bless you. Those who are on Zoom, YouTube, Facebook, we love you dearly. We pray you will stay the course with us as we echo the gospel call across the world. Dubai, Saudi Arabia, yes, Afghanistan, we are there. There is a group that joins us every week, and they have asked that we continue to pray for them. They are worshiping in secret, but they are making contact. And we give God thanks that we are not just in these four walls, but we're going across the globe. We are not trying to be entertainers or to titillate anybody's intellect. Our mandate is to hold up Jesus Christ so that all men can see who Christ is and make a decision to serve him or their blood be on their own shoulders. We do not want people to feel good in his presence. 
and walk out worse than they came. We want you to have a confrontation with life and to make a decision to serve God. The people of God say, Amen. Amen. What is your status? What's your status? I love that. Really love that. What is your status? Status. What is it? Prepared or getting ready? If you're getting ready, you're in trouble. You better be ready, waiting on the Lord. Amen? Michelle Cross, are you here? Michelle? Shakira White, are you here? Shakira? Dwayne Keating? Dwayne was sitting right there, white shirt. Marvet Phillips? Marvet Phillips? Hand down there. Affectionately called Peaches. Nicole Ferguson. Nicole Ferguson. Roll call. Shanice Johnson. Shanice. Bless you, Shanice. Tamika Grant. Tamika. Deshaun Mays. In his father's chair. At the window, Emilio Halstead. Is he here today? Emilio? Sorry? Where? Wow. Brother Halstead, change your seat for me. Bring him come right up a front. All of him I eat him lunch. Carry him see me. Yes. This young man after being baptized, as watching him from the sea, having a discourse with his mother. And I said to Reverend Blackwood, look at that young man. And I saw when his mother gave in and gave him a yes. It is the fastest I've ever seen a young child remove a pair of shoe. This young man came to the funeral service and he sang a hymn without using the hymnal. Go ahead and put your hands together for him. And I want all these converts to, did I call all the names? Is there anybody here who was baptized recently and you didn't hear your name? Did I call all the names? I hope so. I hope so. That touched my heart. When adults give their lives to the Lord, it's good enough. But when children are desirous, Sister Alton said, Rev, he has been wanting to do this for a long time. When children can look at adults and desire God, that's a great thing. And he is serious about it, I know. And the young maids, we pray for them. Always give them a word of encouragement. And the others who are older as well, they are all babes in the hands of God. Put your hands together for every one of them again. We do not want them to sit in the crowd we want them to always come to the front so that they can be encouraged and pushed and pulled and such the like. Amen. Too many of our converts just get lost in the crowd. We're asking children's ministries, youth ministry, ladies ministry, men's fellowship. We're asking young adult ministries. All of these ministries should be bombarding them by now. Don't give them any ease. When they wake up, there must be a text on their phone. Call them at lunchtime. Pray with them before they go to bed. Tell them you're looking for them in church. And they should be in Sunday school. Send them all the links. 
of everything that is happening. Don't give them any opportunity to open a window to the devil. Amen? And if all our ministries will do that, guess what? Every one of them will remain with the Lord Christ. Go ahead and praise him, everybody. Celebrate our COVID babies, everybody. Celebrate our COVID babies, everybody. Glory to God. The word of the Lord from a very unfamiliar text, but I must hail up Brother L. Edwards. Brother Eddie. Brother Edwards. No? I'm sure I saw Brother Edwards earlier. Is my head going? Huh? Yeah? No? My head no sick? What? Brother Daly. I see you in the name of Jesus. And I saw some new brothers as well. Welcome all. thought I saw Brother Edwards earlier. No? All right. Pray for him in Jesus' name. Word of the Lord. Very unfamiliar text to the world today. And I want everybody to stay for the next few minutes to make sure that your ticket is stamped. For glory. Malachi chapter 3. Unfamiliar second coming text. Unfamiliar. Malachi chapter 3. And because we are so close to the hour, we're going to do verses 1 through to verse 5. Verse 1 through to verse 5 unfamiliar but it is all about the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah it reads behold I will send my messenger and he shall prepare the way before me and the Lord whom ye seek shall suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger of the covenant, whom ye delight in. Behold, he shall come, saith the Lord of hosts. Pay attention to verse 2, congregation across the world. But who may abide the day of his coming? And who shall stand when he appeareth? For he is like a refiner's fire and like a fuller's soap. That's God. Verse 3. And he shall sit as a refiner and a purifier of silver. And he shall purify the sons of Levi and purge them as gold and silver that they may offer unto the Lord an offering in righteousness. Pay attention, church. Levites purged offering of righteousness. Offering in righteousness. Then shall the offering of Judah and Jerusalem be pleasant unto the Lord. As in the days of old and as in former years. Verse 5. We're going to stop there. And I will come near to you to judgment. Malachi, this is brethren. 400 years before the first word in Matthew. Yeah, Malachi. I will come near to you to judgment. That's why I'm coming. And I will be a swift witness against the sorcerers and against the adulterers and against false swearers and against those that oppress the hiring 
in his wages. Mr. Prime Minister coming at you today. The widow and the fatherless. And that turn aside the stranger from his right. And fear not me, saith the Lord of hosts. Father, humbly we bow underneath the burden of your words. Let your voice be clear. Sound of many waters. Oh God, let not the child in the mother's womb be still. But cause every living creature to be challenged and to turn to you today. Because your coming is nearer than we think. Oh God, try us one more time. And cause us to be at the right place. Awaiting your second coming. If there be unsaved brothers and sisters. In the hearing of these speakers. YouTube, Facebook and even Zoom. We pray that our brothers and sisters will now. Turn to you as Lord and the Savior. Save to the utmost Jehovah. That we may escape oh, the final judgment that will rain upon sin. Bless your words to our hearts. We will be careful to glorify your matchless holy name. And the people of God say. All of God's people say. Let the people of God say. Amen and amen and amen before God. Malachi chapter 3 in the last prophetic book of the Old Testament it is classified as the last prophetic declaration before the dark ages Malachi must have been visited by the angels of the living God and was given this word of prophecy so that Israel and the world to come would be warned of the judgment of God. 2022 ought not to be a year of pleasantries. It ought to be a year of righteous dread. When we will be careful not to take any risks with God, but to wait patiently for his return, Malachi, an unfamiliar text, comes to us today as a people. And I want you to know, believers, that God knew exactly what he was doing. In allusion to the custom. Of sending pioneers to prepare the way for the march of an eastern monarch. The coming of Christ's forerunner is described in this particular text. And then the coming of Christ himself. Malachi 3.1 With the terrible judgments which were to accompany that event. In order to refine and purify his people. And his priests, Malachi 3, 2 to 6, the following verses, reprehend them for withholding the legal tithes and offerings with large promises in case of their repentance and amendments, Malachi 3, 7 to 12. The prophet expostulates with the people. For their hard and profane speeches against the conduct of providence. And declares God's will one day. God will one day make a fearful and final distinction between the righteous and the wicked. Whose different characters are in the meantime carefully recorded. Malachi 3, 13 to 18. The chapter is a comprehensive declaration. And I want to say to Old Harbor today, may we heed the call of the prophet. 
the prophet Malachi would not have us to be ignorant of the Lord. So he opens the text by saying, Behold, I will send my messenger, verse 1, and he shall prepare the way before me. And the Lord whom ye seek shall suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger of the covenant whom ye delight in. Behold, he shall come, saith the Lord of hosts. Behold, I will send my messenger, Malachi, the very name of the prophet. But this speaks of John the Baptist. Long before John was even conceived, I, the Messiah, the seed of God, mentioned above, will send my messenger, John the Baptist, to go before me. Malachi, speaking before the voice of God, would have gone silent for 400 years between the last iota and the opening words of Matthew. Hear what Malachi says. He shall prepare the way. Oh God help the church. Be as a pioneer before me. A corrector of civil abuses. And a preacher of righteousness. John was not a favorite of his time. John was not sought after during his time. John was not one that was accepted among the ethos of the time. The modern day preachers are seeking the favor of the world. The modern day preachers are seeking acceptance from the movers and shakers of Jamaica and the world. The modern day preachers are wanting invitations to go into hollowed places where they will sit and discuss everything else but Almighty God. Well, John was not one of them. When John showed up, he came to tell men, the Messiah is coming. Prepare to meet the Lamb of Almighty God. Somebody say amen right there. Oh, great God eternal. John, John, this man John, oh, could not help himself. But to be the forerunner, the one who would prepare the way for the messenger to come. Oh God, I want to give Old Harbor the full counsel. Reverend Blackwood is in Clifton right now. We praise strength. Preparing the way is to correct evil. In civil society. And to declare righteousness to a people. The church is in no condition. For the return of the Lord Jesus Christ. My belly is weak. My knees are not supporting me. The church is in no condition. Our eyes are fixed. On things of earth. And if God is not delivering material things. We can't testify of the goodness of God. Well, we don't need any material this year. We just need more of God. As long as I am able to sense the nearness of God. Even if I spread my bed in hell. It shall be okay. It shall be well. I will go hungry. But leave me in the presence of God. Cut off my light. church is not at a place to receive the second coming of the Lord Christ oh God help the church God help the church the messenger is coming but the forerunner precedes him to tell not just the congregants but the nation Oh God, Vale Royal, Sir Patrick Allen, King's House, Honorable 
Bro, God. Parliament, Duke Street. Oh, God, somebody not praying for me. Internationally, let's just say NATO. They congregate in New York and in other places around the world to discuss earth and to pretend that they are working in the best interests of humanity. That's a lie from the pit of hell. NATO is a secret organization. JLP and PNP are no different. But God needs a John to tell the nation, repent of your sins. Oh Lord God Almighty. Mr. Prime Minister, you, break, you broke my heart when you became emotional and cried because of the situation in Jamaica. And I don't want to condemn you in any way, shape or form. But I want to come alongside you, Mr. Prime Minister. I hear Kevin Downswell said, when I come to the end of myself, Father, carry me. Well, there is a preacher in Old Harbor, Mr. Prime Minister, who is commissioned to tell you nothing but the truth. I do not want to see you going anyplace else. But to the altar of the living God. Because if Jamaica must be held. We must go back to God. In sincere repentance. We must go back to God. And tell God we have done wrong. And as a nation we need. Forgiveness of our sins. Eternal Father. The forerunner had to point out to the people we must get back to righteousness. Yes. Gotta go. Yes. Mm -mm. You can't want to come off church service and go back to live a life of sin. Every year, politicians come. Oh God, are you gather at national prayer breakfast? You gather at national services. You visit every convention across Jamaica and still walk out in your sins. Well, Mr. Prime Minister, having a form of godliness will not help Jamaica. Babies are now dying. We are killing ourselves. We are imploding. We are like cannibals and parasites. We are feeding on ourselves. Our nation is in trouble. We need a John to call back the nation to God. Yes. We need a John to just tell the people the truth. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Be all I send my messenger. But before the messenger comes, there is a forerunner to prepare the people. The people must repent of their sins and begin to practice righteousness. And the Lord, whom you're seeking for, the Messiah, whom you expect from the account given by the prophet Daniel in his 70 weeks, which is about the, the, the tribulation that is to come in Daniel 9, 24. This God that you're expecting will come at a time like that oh church of a living God are you ready to meet the king of all kings are you ready to live right in the sight of God oh yes the return and the actions of Jesus is recorded in this chapter creatively you see, Malachi spoke of the return in two ways. He spoke of the messenger that would be born in Bethlehem of Judea. And he spoke of the messenger that would come as a judge. All in 
the same paragraph. Yes, yes. So theologians who don't want God to judge the world will tell you. Oh, the context of the verse was about the birth of Christ. Well, look again. It is also a prophecy about the judgment of mankind. Oh, yeah. The second messenger is not a babe. The second messenger is the king of kings and the lords of lords. Behold, I send my messenger. The messenger of the covenant. The coming of the two messengers. Let's dissect it quickly, church. The two messengers are introduced by Malachi. Behold, I send my messenger and he will prepare the way before me. Behold, I send my... This prophesied messenger is none other than John the Baptist, the forerunner. Matthew 11, 10, Mark 1, 2. Each show the promise was fulfilled in John the Baptist as the forerunner. At the end of Malachi 2, Israel complained that God seemed to reward the wicked and did not exercise his justice in the world. God responds to their complaint by saying, I will set things right with my Messiah. And before him, before him will come my messenger. Oh, church of a living God. One commentator says, this messenger that will come after God put it right is Jesus Christ the Lord. The world cannot continue like this. Murder is out of control in Jamaica. Cannot continue like this. God is going to come and deal with the church. And after he has done that, then the Messiah, the second messenger, is going to show up to judge the entire world. Let me go on. He will prepare the way before me. In an ancient royal procession, a messenger went before the king to announce his arrival. That's what John did to indicate the route and to remove any obstacles in the road. John the Baptist fulfilled this exact ministry for Jesus Christ. His last feat was to rebuke Herod. The king, the king at the time was living with his brother's wife. Nobody would rebuke him. Oh Lord, I want to talk the things in Jamaica, but the, the church is too weak. To tell the prime minister and the leader of the opposition the truth of God. John told Herod, it's not right to live with your brother's wife. Oh, Mr. Prime Minister and Mr. Governor General, if this be a righteous country, a God-fearing country, a Christian country, how is it the members of parliament cannot lift their hands and say to the entire country, I am a child of God. I have surrendered my life. How is it we're not hearing parliament saying to the country, let us go to the altar and call out to God. Let every man in Jamaica go to church whether Saturday, Sunday or in between. Oh, if we are a Christian country. If we are a Christian country, we wouldn't be ashamed to say Christ in social settings and in financial meetings. Mm, if we were a Christian country. But John went into the palace where Herod was. Tell him, Master Herod, judgment is surely coming. You have one last chance to make it right. You are living with your brother's wife. And that's not right in the sight of God. Oh, church of God. Oh, I don't have time to get any day. The corruption is in Jamaica is too much. And we sit down like we don't understand what is going on. Huh? It is too many. Oh God, it is unbearable. 
or roads are bad, JPS, light bill can't pay, and such the like, brothers and sisters, water soon cut off to because it's hard on the citizens of Jamaica. But there are those who are scheming and finding ways to extract more millions out of poor people and we sit down in Jamaica as a church and say nothing to the status quo I say to the people of God God is sending a forerunner who will tell Herod it's not right to live with your brother's wife Yes, they killed him because he was preaching the truth. Pastors today don't want to die. They hide behind wisdom. Oh, you need to be wise as a preacher. You don't have to say drastic things to attract attention from the devil. You just need to say it in the middle so that the devil don't get upset. Well, John didn't care. He had one mandate from God. Go before the messenger. The messenger is coming. But before he comes, go before him and tell the people. Oh, the Bible said like a voice crying in the wilderness. Prepare to meet thy God. God, oh Jamaica, there needs to be a voice. Not because you show up for church, that doesn't say you're holy. Not because you're on prayer meeting, that doesn't say you're holy. Not because you're leading fasting, that doesn't say you're holy. Not because you're preaching behind the pulpit, that doesn't say you're holy. Notice in the text, brethren, that the refiner was about to purge who? He was not about to purge the world, the priest. Yes. Yes. Oh God Almighty. Yes. God's purpose for bringing this specific prophecy through Malachi in his day was probably because Israel complained that the messianic promises of Haggai and Zechariah were not fulfilled. Here Malachi showed that the way for the Messiah must be prepared. He did not say preparing. It must be prepared. And they were not ready to receive him. Oh, church of a living God, are you ready for the second return of Jesus Christ? So God is giving, giving us a little bit more opportunity and time to make it right with God. We don't know about tomorrow. We don't know about next week. We know about right now. I'm saying to the people who are listening to this microphone, if your heart is not right with God, do it now. Do it now. Do it now because the Messiah is coming and is coming soon. Oh Lord God. Somebody needs to tell Jamaica, somebody needs to tell the world that there is a preparation period that will get the people prepared. Oh, the little dialogue this morning the conversation mentioned my granny tell me that jesus soon come and she a brush 100 right now oh believers there were some intelligent people in the gospels who approached those who were talking about the second coming and they said hey we have been waiting for so long and all now we can't see it oh we can't believe in that anymore the longer god takes to come is the less likely we are going to believe in his second coming but i come to tell somebody when you think it's peace and coming when you think not believers 
It is interesting what was said in the text before me. The Lord promised that he himself would come. Yes. Not merely a new or a better prophet than Malachi. But he says, I am coming. Yes. Oh Lord Jesus. The Lord himself. Even the messenger of the covenant. This second messenger is the Lord himself. Jesus is coming to his temple as the fulfillment of the old covenant and to institute the new. Oh, church of a living God, are you ready to receive the messenger of this new covenant? He says, as he was lifted up and glorified, the angel said to the disciples that were looking on, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing into heaven? God help the church. This same Jesus, whom you see going up, shall come again in like manner. Oh Lord, take your time. Church. You can stay there, play with sin. And play with Satan. And behave like no God no exists. So you come to prove whether or not God will send somebody to rebuke you of the sins you committed last week. Well, God don't have to do that to be God. And you sit down and wait to see if the Holy Ghost going to pick you out. Because of the wrong that you did last night. Holy Ghost don't have to do that. That's not necessary. What is important uh, is that you hear the warning uh, and do the cleansing uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, he that have ears to hear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying. The messenger is on his way. He's not another prophet or an angel. It is the Lord himself. Are you ready to meet him? Are you ready to meet him? This Jesus that is coming back to the temple. I'm all in church of God. Hear what, what he said. The second messenger will also come with purifying judgment. So we have identified who the messenger is. Jesus. But what are the actions that Jesus is coming back to do? To take. Oh God Almighty. Are you ready for this church? Let's go back to the text. Malachi. Who can endure the day of his coming? Question number one. Number two. Who can stand when he appears? For he is like a refiner's fire. And like launder's soap. He will sit as the refiner and the purifier of silver. He will purify the sons of Levi. Oh God, I want to preach here a little bit. But I'm watching the time just the same. Church of God, the purify the sons of Levi, the Levites. And purge them as gold and silver. That they may offer the Lord an offering in righteousness. Oh church, is your offering being offered in righteousness? Then the offering of Judah and Jerusalem will be pleasant to the Lord as in the days of old, as in former years. And I will come near you for judgment. That's why he's coming back again. Behold, I come quickly. Talk to me, church. And my reward is with me to pay every man. Oh, I'm not hearing the church of God. Why is the church quiet when you preach righteousness, man? It does soap, man. Make it soap, man. Yes, brother. Church, be all. I come quickly. And my reward is with me to pay every man according. Oh, Lord Jesus Christ. As his work shall be. I hear God saying, raise up Malachi to the people 
and let them understand the prophecy. Here is what God is saying. You need to examine yourself with the two questions asked in the text. Who can endure the day of his coming? Can you? Will you? Are you prepared to? Malachi 3.1 spoke of the two messengers to come. One to prepare the way of the Lord and one to be the messenger of the covenant. The coming that man must endure is the coming of the messenger of the covenant. But it is his second coming. Oh Lord God. Read Revelation and Daniel again. And look at the second coming of the Lord Christ. If we had time in the old church, we would have leave 3 o'clock today. But the modern church cannot stay long. So let me hurry up and close then. Now. Church of God, Daniel and Revelation tell us. God said do it last year, December. And we tried. Still not finished yet, but we're going to go on. Hear what Revelation is saying, church of God. That when this second messenger put in his appearing he's not coming as a baby again or a young child no he's coming back as a frowning a king with his face made up Lord Jesus Christ he's coming back with a rod of iron he's coming back with his fist folded he's coming back not to have niceties with men but to bring men into judgment and any man who has rejected his name and rejected his salvation shall be burnt in an unquenchable chaff of fire you shall hear depart from me I know you not go and be with the devil and his angels in the burning lake of fire church the second messenger will be the judge of the ages <laughs> not a pretty sight to behold Daniel saw an image but John, John got a revelation <laughs> Lord God Almighty out of his mouth proceedeth a two-edged sword. Yes. His eyes are like balls of fire. Not a pretty sight. When he speaks, his voice is like the sound of many waters. It won't be a pretty sight. But when Jehovah the messenger returns, mankind will have to stand before him. If you're not washed in the blood of the Lamb, if you're not sealed by the Holy Ghost, if his name is not written in your foreheads, then you shall melt like butter against sun. Can I warn this nation? The messenger is on his way. He is nearer than we think. Are you ready to meet him? Who can endure his coming? Like most Old Testament prophets, Malachi in his picture of the coming Christ mingled the two advents, says commentator Alden. Oh, he puts the birth with the second return and he calls them the messengers. Oh, brothers and sisters, I want to say to you today, he is like a refiner's fire, says the text, and like launder soap. The church is in my focus. The coming of the second messenger will be awesome and terrible, but with a purpose. Both the launder and the refiner, their work is to clean up and not to destroy. Oh, church of God. We have a little time left, Sister Jadeja and Sister Vicky. Little time to get it right, to be prepared and waiting. The fuller soap and the refiner's fire does not destroy. No, it purifies. It cleanses. Church of a living God. Let the church be the church. 
We must have an identity. Our only adjective to describe us uh, must be righteous. <laughs> oh, church of a living God. Our garments must be washed uh, and be made white. Uh, our souls must be ready and waiting for the king. Uh, let the church be the church. People of God, I am troubled when I read the text. I became nervous. I searched my own heart first. I said, God, have mercy on this one because heaven now miss me. So me now come preach and trumpet sound and me no gone. So Jesus, do drop me in the smeltering pot. Yes. Amen. Amen. So. I drop already in the church of God. And God turn up the heat, you know. God fill me a piece of silver. Never too soft. Full of all kind of something. And it takes a certain degree of heat to remove certain pollutions. Lord God, I come to tell you all about God has put on his smeltering pot. Oh, there are some silver vessels in Wolaba that God wants to work on a little bit more. But you have to volunteer and bring yourself to the smeltering pot. When you show up, the messenger will take you and he will place you in the smeltering pot. He will set the degree at the right place so that there will be no corruption or impurity is remaining in your silver oh that somebody would look in the pot and realize that's your piece of silver you don't get to church some years ago we went to the Rockford cement company to observe the process of making cement from limestone. <laughs> oh God. They brought us to a kiln with blue flames in it. Blue flames coming from a jet. The kiln was about 70 or 80 feet long. We could walk in it. That flame would pass through the center of the kiln. Some people call it skill. What is the skill? Those who do pottery. Church of God. And the slurry goes into that kiln with water. It's a liquid. Church. When that fire gets through with the liquid that was in there, the slurry. Only powder came out of it. Oh God Almighty. It was so hot, it removed every drop of water. The smeltering pot for silver is a little different. The fire is at the bottom of the pot and the silver goes into the pot and make contact with the pot. So the heat is touching the silver directly. Lord God Almighty. I hear God saying, I want to touch my people directly to remove every form of impurity, every foreign body, every corruption, every sin, every stain, every spot, every wrinkle. I want to touch my people directly. One commentator says, the messenger sits down at the side of the smeltering pot. He does not want anybody else to come there. He wants to do it all by himself. Notice church, God didn't hand us over to a priest to be cleansed. In Malachi, he's doing the cleansing all by himself. No angel, no prophet, no priest. 
God himself is doing the cleansing. When God is doing the cleansing, no impurity can remain. He sits at the side of the smeltering pot. And as the impurities come to the surface, he skims it off. As the sins come to the surface, he removes them. He's touching lives right now. He's touching mine. Let yes, me, me just drop my silver in the pot. Hey, God. <laughs> beg God, turn up. turn up. Turn up the temperature that yes. Jesus do. Yes. Can you see that piece of silver here? Yes, it's tough God. in a lot. Yes, God. Yes. And yes. A couple more degrees. Yes. And the kind of impurities that's in me. Jesus. I need more heat. Yes. You know what I'm glad for, church? God didn't leave you to clean me up. <laughs> when I read the text, I began to rejoice. When I, when I read the text and realize it's the messenger that's doing the cleansing. It's not a prophet or a priest or an angel. No, because they will get to a place and decide, say, you know what? I am tired of this piece of silver. Me gone. And as a result of that, the impurities will remain. And I become a castaway. No. But I see my patient Savior and Lord sitting by the smeltering pot. Watching over my piece of silver. And as the sins get fired up. And they can't stay at the bottom anymore. But they had to come to the top. Because too much heat down at the bottom. And sin no like heat. So it have to come up to the top and float. And when it float, the Savior take out him righteous skimming spoon and scrape off the sin. All that is left is the purified silver. Oh yeah. I wish if I could go on, child of God. So I'm praying, Lord, put me in the fire. Put me in the fire. Put me in your smeltering pot. For when I come out, I'm coming out looking like glass. I am going to be at my purest and at my best. I'm going to be at my cleanest. I'm going to be under your righteousness. Drop me in your smeltering pot. Burn the trust. Send the fire down from heaven. Oh God Almighty, Isaiah said, I'm a man of unclean lips. I dwell among a people of unclean lips. God, if you plan for call me, I am in no condition to even answer. I should not even be standing in your presence. But God, thank you for bringing me into a conversation with you as I have said I lifted up my eyes and look an angel flew over to the altar with a tongue in his hand and he picked up a live coal from off the altar and he came over to me and placed it on my lips hey, church of God somebody said burn the drug Out of me. Then I heard a voice saying, Son of man, whom shall I send? And who will go? And he said, Here am I, Lord. Send me. Well, I'm glad this one angels can handle for my sins too serious. And the, the, the process requires no one else but the Savior. Oh, somebody look up to the Savior and say, Thank you, Jesus, for still working on me. Thank you, Jesus, for still have me in the smeltering pot. If it were angels or others, they would have walked away because of me. But Lord, thank you. Thank you. Let me send you home to church. The refining and the cleansing was for the church. The tribe in Israel that was singled out 
to do service for the Lord in the temple. Pay attention, church of God. Enough away. Walk one like we next to God. And because of pride, we don't want to repent. We are going like we are on our way to glory. When the truth is, the messenger has come to cleanse us. To refine us. The pastors and the council board not clean. And it's easy to have a form of godliness as a pastor and end up in hell. Because God still I use you. You take what God I do for salvation. Not enough salvation. Not because you pray one accurate prayer. And people testify. And I want all of us to know. Stop call pastor name from God's blessing. No give no pastor God's credit. A God yes. you must give the credit to. Yes. Yes. Oh, I tell you Reverend Dixon got up. And Reverend Dixon, no. Jesus. You know, see every time you say me duck. You know, see some me duck. Because we want people to glorify us. We try to preach the right message for you to hear. So you can glorify us. Well, if you don't want to hear it after your business. As long as it comes from God. It must be delivered God's way. And if you don't want to like it as so. When judgment day come. You're going to stand up before the messenger. And you will have no excuse. Because when the smeltering pot was being fired up. Rather than drop your silver. You walk well like you are right. No. You know all right. Because you're a parson. You're a deacon. Notice the prophets and the Levites. The ones who God has chosen to attend to the business of God upon the altar. Were the ones that God singled out. That is clear in the brethren. If the priests and the Levites are unsanctified, what about the believers? For if the head of the stream, brother Perry, is dirty, what about the bottom? Gotta go. Gotta go. Refiner's fire, fuller soap. It's not just the burning out, but the washing as well. Hear what God wants from us. We must be clean. His work is not to destroy us this time, you know. It is to prepare us for his coming. He will sit as the refiner, sit and the purifier of silver. The beauty of this picture is that the refiner looks into the open furnace or pot. And knows that the process of purifying is complete. And the dross all burnt away. When he can see his image plainly reflected in the molten metal. Then he knows the silver is ready for his return. Says commentator Baldwin. I got to hurry. Let me drop a Spurgeon in there and run. Hear what Spurgeon says. If any of you my hearers are seeking the Lord at this time. I want you to understand what it means. You are seeking a fire which will test you and consume much which has been dear to you. If you're seeking God, you're seeking a fire. That is going to test you and is going to consume a lot of the things that you love. That is not of God. Oh, take your time, Pastor. Give me two more minutes in the church. Spurgeon said it nicely. And, he's, and let me continue. The fire will test you. The fire will consume much which has been dear to you. We are not to expect Christ to come and save us in our sins. He's not coming to save us in our sins, says Persian. 
He will come to save us from our sins. As long as you're going to be saved, sin must be dealt with once and for all. Church of God. 40 years now, you're still a walking in sin. No, you're not converted yet, man. Because you're making the excuse, say, oh, I'm in the house of clay and we can't be perfect. You stay there. When Jesus done with the silver, it is as perfect as silver can be. Notice is the messenger alone. It's not man going to certify you purified. It's the messenger alone. So you stay there depend upon some person who will tell you what you want to hear. Than reading the book and accepting the voice of the messenger. When Jesus is through with you, no sin, no left. Or else you could not offer your offerings in righteousness. <laughs> a holy if you're not a guy send you home because you can't handle this. Spurgeon says it is to deliver you from your sins, save you from your sins. Therefore, if you are enabled by faith to take Christ as Savior, remember that you take him as a purger and a purifier, for it is from sin. That he saves us all, says Persian. And I'm going to stop there today. And this altar call is not for saints or sinners. It's for humanity. Is there one today whose silver must be placed into the smeltering pot? If you think you want the messenger to oversee your cleansing, and your purifying stand right where you are just now. I am standing already behind the sacred desk. You think me I make you stand and God even left me? No. I mean, a fool fool. I mean, I'm pretend. For there's nothing hid from the messenger. Notice he sits and he looks into the pot. But can I warn you as you stand? Can I warn you? From the text. Can I warn you, church? Do you want the warning? You want the warning? Hmm. Here is what he says in the text. The sin that God is dealing the sins he has mentioned some of them in the text. Here are they. Adultery. False swearers, oppressors of hirelings. Mr. Prime Minister, teachers can't get six thousand dollars for them pay. It's wicked, man. Mr. Prime Minister, those who are in the legal system, legal aids are getting a hundred and fifty thousand dollars more and you're giving teachers six thousand dollars mr prime minister malika is against you malika is calling you out and the teachers must not take it policemen don't take it either the country can do better with our teachers and our civil servants come on child of god those who oppress people are going to be judged of Almighty God. I'm in trouble. Let me go home and hide. Widow, fatherless, God is watching what they're doing to you. <laughs> oh, God Almighty. Church of God, we're in trouble. For no sin shall enter there. For if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. When you're prepared, you have been smeltered. Your sins have been skimmed and gotten rid of. And only your purest form remains. Are you ready to meet him? Are you ready? Is there a brother or a sister here today not saved? 
right where you're standing. God knew you were coming there. He wants you to put your silver in the smeltering pot. He has already turned on the fire. He has already positioned himself to sit and supervise your cleansing. Only if you're willing, he will remove every dross. If you are one such person, right where you are, I ask you to say that prayer of repentance. Ask the Lord come into your heart. Let the Levites bring themselves to the smeltering pot. And you know, I would tell you that I'm done already on leave, brethren, but this one requires your time. For if you're not purified, if you're not cleansed, you're not ready to receive the message. We must pray. Beneath that flow, lose all. Of sinners. Beneath I go first. I want to make it. Their guilt is there. Is there one more among the Levites? Is there one more among the priests? For his soon return, is there one more among the congregation? Every sin must be burned and removed so that you will be ready for the messenger. It is prayer time to see, to see that fountain in his name. Yes, Lord. God. We're going to pray. Will you join me in standing? Every child, wake them up, please. Even the unborn in the belly. Every person present, please stand. I invite you to pray right now. You won't be able to say, I was not warned to be prepared for the messenger because I was sitting or I was sleeping. No. You were awakened and you were told everybody please stand very simple but straightforward prayer we pray today I am nervous for the priest was not ready Levites needed cleansing how much more the congregation Old Harbor let's not pretend today that we're righteous and if that sin is so loved by you 
that you don't want to repent of it, that's the sin that's going to take you to a devil's hell. There's no guarantee you're leaving here to see tomorrow. So I can't tell you to go pray about it and come back. No. Now is when we pray, believers, right now. And I know it's after 12, but it's right now. It's right now. It's better to miss dinner than to miss heaven. It's better to miss an appointment than to lose our souls. It's right now. So right where you're standing, would you make an altar with God right now? Every individual or children, stop. Brother Cox, do not allow any to go outside now, please. All our children, parents, tell them it's time to pray. For they, John saw the small and the great. They were there at the judgment. So our children, they are not exempt because they are children. Smeltering and fuller soap. Every sin must be left on the scrap heap of God's eternal refuse. We must go home pure and clean today, ready for the messenger. Everybody, everywhere, in a concert manner, let us bring ourselves to the Lord. Everybody. From the smallest child to the eldest adult. Father, Hugh B. Dixon, 1967, 10th of May, Falmouth Hospital. Lord, before I was conceived, you knew me. Call me by my name. I'm yours. 2022, 16th of the first. At this hour, I ask you to drop me in your smeltering pot. Already fired up, heated to the right temperature. God Almighty, do not allow any sin to remain in me absolutely no sin i beg of you right now messenger of god the messiah the sent one king of the ages lord of lords mighty god i ask of you right now that you will drop my silver in your smeltering pot i pray that every sin committed will now be removed from my mortal existence. Take this lump of clay, Jehovah, and with a fuller soap, wash me thoroughly, purge me from every sin and every residue thereof, every sin that remains unrepented. Oh God, I pray like David that you will remove it. Blot out my transgressions according to the multitude of your tender mercies this more this afternoon god in old harbor road and pen there is a gathering of righteousness a gathering of penitence a gathering of humility a gathering of repentance a gathering seeking after the messenger this afternoon god the smallest child is seeking your forgiveness and i your priest whom you have called and appointed i'm seeking your forgiveness as a priest in your household let not make my garment be tattered and soil remove the spots and the wrinkles and the residue of sin remove everything god that is unlike you and only allow your holiness and your righteousness to remain so i present my body as a living sacrifice god do not entertain my weakness and excuses but oh god pull me up and upbraid me into your righteousness impute 
the righteousness of Jesus Christ unto my soul. For Lord, none but the righteous shall see God. We ask of you today for the refiner's fire and the fuller soap. We ask of you today, do not leave us in the hands of men who are themselves polluted, but messenger of God. Sit by the refiner's fire where you can see and supervise where you can remove every sin that comes to the top uh, remove the trust today God and leave only the purified form of the silver wash this earth and vessel with your fuller soap Jesus my mind, my soul, my body needs cleansing. Oh God Almighty, outside and inside all, wash me today with your fuller soul, Father, as your servant. I hear your words echoing in my heart again. Oh, you are all washed but not all clean. I pray today, God, the congregation in Roden Pen, under the banner of the New Testament Church of God, oh, a group of the body of Christ, let none of us walk through these doors like we came in Jesus' name. Father, we rebuke the appetite for sin. We curse the seed of sin. We come against the enticement and that which would draw us away in our own lust to do that which is unseemly and unrighteous in your sight. Father! Father! Purify me! Purify me! As your servant, I stand between the altar and the porch. As your servant, I stand between your throne and your people. As your servant, I cry out on behalf of Jamaica. Oh God, remember our governor general. Remind him of his Christian heritage. But let him be reminded he's not exempt from the fuller's fire. Oh, the fuller's soap and the refiner's fire. Oh, we bring the governor general. We bring the prime minister. We bring the cabinet. We bring the opposition. We bring the senate. Upper and lower house. We bring the civil servants. Those who believe and don't believe. Oh, we raise up Jamaica. We raise up Jamaica. In the name of Jesus. Walk into every garrison. Into every gang den into every meeting place where murder has been agreed upon let your divine spirit now appear oh remember Jamaica with your refining fire burn and wash oh great God eternal Oh, I pray for the Levites uh, and I pray for the priests. Uh us priests and Levites God we have done the abominable can't rebuke our sons with authority can't stand and have righteousness in the temple oh God uh, fornication taking place upon the steps uh, by the sons of the priest uh, oh God darkness the fire upon the altar has gone out in the temple and the priests don't know it and they have no desire to rekindle the fire of the living God dogs are now laying down in the ashes vultures are coming down for the sacrifice that remaineth oh God it is an abomination Forgive us, Jehovah, 
and wash us one more time. Cleanse us again as a church and allow us to stand in righteousness and holiness all the days of our lives. Refining fire, fuller soap. Deliver us from the judgment that is to come. Savior, you are the superintendent overseeing this process. And we thank you. Purge us. Cleanse us. Sanctify us. Oh God, regenerate us. Reconcile us unto yourself today. We make a holy vow. I'm yours, Lord. Everything that I am, everything that I've got, everything that I'm not, I'm yours, Lord. Try me now and see, see that I am completely yours. In the Savior's messianic name we pray, amen and amen. Amen. Hallelujah. No adulterer. None. No false witness. God, none. Or oppressors of the people mm, none. shall enter. None. 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 But the righteous. Hallelujah. Father, for those who have confessed their sins to accept you as Lord and Savior today, yes, we pray you rest your hand upon them. Yes, Let them not go back to the weak and beggarly elements of darkness but let them remain in the light with you surrendering their bodies yielding their will and allowing their minds oh god to be occupied by none other but the god of their salvation lord we thank you now for saving your people rescuing us from sin days almost done low since the sun god almighty souls are now living because of your presence in these closing days, we pray that you will uphold the church with the righteousness of your right hand. We pray that the whole of the New Testament church of God will walk in no other mode or manner, but in the mode and manner of righteousness. Oh God Almighty, in keeping with your expectations, we commit to the righteousness of God. We can't do it by ourselves or in ourselves. But oh God, if you would only assign Jesus again, Oh, let the smelterer pull his chair and sit by the smeltering pot. He will purify us, cleanse us. He will even save us. And allow us to be ready for the messenger that is to come. Mighty God of Daniel, as we leave this tabernacle, go with your people. Go with your children. Go with us knowing fully well we are living in the righteousness of God. May we grapple. May we struggle. But let us come forth as pure as gold. For God Almighty, when you get through with us, when you get through with us, we will come forth as pure as gold. Purify us today, God. Cleanse us today, Jehovah. Sanctify us afresh. And allow us to remain a bright shining light in these dark days. As a congregation, we surrender all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the people of God say, Amen. people of the messenger say, Amen. messianic people say, Amen. somebody shout something right there. Amen. Shout something right there. Amen. Musicians, when I come to the end of myself, Father, raise your right hand straight of God. Everybody together. To include those who have accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and as Savior. If you be one such person, we would love to get your name and contact number right after church. Praise hands of the messenger. Now may the saving grace of our Lord and the Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, 
full fellowship of the Holy Spirit, the Comforter. Rest, remain, and abide with us all. Now and forevermore, the people say, Refine the people say, People of the fire say, God bless you, everyone. 7 p.m. this evening. Sister Graham, see Sister Dixon right away. Run on home, brethren. I'm not sorry I kept you this long. For if the trumpet of God should sound, you would have been ready. God bless you. 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 Remember, don't congregate. Run on home.